So over here is where we have all of the equipment that runs our new geoexchange system. This colorful pipe network is also Canada's largest urban system of its kind. Students and the public are invited to learn about it up close and it's located right underneath King's College Circle. So we're taking heat that we have in the summer, excess heat, and we're storing that deep below the ground so we can use it in the winter time. And then in the winter, by using it, we don't have to burn fossil fuels. It turns the earth under the campus into a huge thermal battery. U of T says it's equivalent to a quarter million EV batteries. Each one of these is connected to 10 wells that we have below our front campus. It goes about 250 meters deep. That's about a half a CN tower below the ground. And that heat goes down and it dissipates into the rock. In the winter, we reverse that. The energy can be used for a number of things, including melting snow outside buildings. Once construction is complete, U of T says the system would help mitigate about 10,000 tons of carbon every year. One of our professors, the late Professor Frank Cooper, actually studied geochain systems in the cold Canadian climate. He did some phenomenal work on that space back in the 1940s, ultimately published it in the 50s. It's taken industry, it's taken engineers this long to be able to take that research and get it to a scale that we can use on a campus-wide. So it's definitely a bit of a homecoming for us in terms of that technology. Maybe a bit unfortunate it took us this long. This is something that's really new and something that you can be proud of that you had a hand in helping with just because it is something that's doing a lot of good for the planet and also just for the community around U of T as well. And it's always nice to see some theories you learned in school being applied uh, in real life and you can like find the similarities between the two of them and so it gives you motivation to learn more in school because it's, it's so nice to see the application. Only in recent decades has geo exchange systems gained traction in Canada and there's hope that U of T's can show its potential and inspire more. The buildings that are surrounding us are 120 years old. And we're able to demonstrate that this type of technology isn't just for the brand new builds. We can do it in the oldest part of our campus, what's ultimately the oldest part of our city, and still have these low carbon type solutions. This space has already served as a subterranean classroom for over a thousand students, Supporta says, and many more will be welcomed come September. Brittany Bellette, CBC News, Toronto.